Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and our Simple Abundance year with Sarah Von Braunick's book, Simple Abundance. I wanted to come on for a quick video tonight because I've been thinking about the last video a lot, which was about Thanksgiving and sharing gratitude all year round and ways that you can show that you care for people in your life, like your friends and even strangers, right? We talked about that. And it made me think of two things that I wanted to share. One is, and this is an old printout, but there is a website called actionforhappiness.org. And you can go on there and they have calendars for every month of the year. This is an old one from December and it'll have something every day of the month to do and Thanksgiving is usually a lot about gratitude. So remember when I shared the story about the lady that gave me the nice lotion at work and, and I questioned, you know, is, is this something that she's doing, that she's planned ahead to do at various places that she goes? Not unlike what I was telling you about how I had a little schedule of reaching out to people from my past that one year. And so I've been thinking a lot about how I could remind myself to do some of the things. Like I love sending and receiving mail, so I tend to do that. And uh, so, you know, maybe if I am more contemplative about it and and really make it something on my task list, list then that would be good for the new year. And I have been thinking a lot about the new year too. I still should do a video on some of the thoughts that I had for 2021. And I don't know what I will do here on the channel. I don't think I will end it though because it won't be our simple abundance year again for 2021. But I do foresee that I probably will do something, whether it's just a little grouping of things here and there. I don't have a structure for it in my mind. but. I'm not ready to say goodbye to you guys, so hope you stick around. And it's nice to see you. There's actually a lot of new subscribers lately, too, so that's nice. So anyway, back to this calendar. So there are some examples uh, of ways that you can positively affect other people. And when we talk about Action for Happiness, you know, that's the name of the organization. I said that about when you do something nice for someone else, it, it usually comes back to you in a way of like you feel good and then hopefully with law of attraction we've talked about that before hopefully what you put out comes back to you also not even just for the way it makes you feel but maybe if you are giving to people then you will notice that people are giving to you as well so some of the things that are on here although we were we wear masks right now but Count how many people you smile at today. So there's things like that. Do something helpful for a friend or family member. Do an act of kindness to help an older person. Try out the art of positive gossiping. I was looking at that and I was thinking, what would that mean? Would it be like, hey guys, can you believe that Carolyn is so happy? <laughs> or like something like that. I don't know. Like starting a gossip trail about positive stuff. That would be good if you heard things that were positive. I share, uh, or I um, follow, I should say, a Facebook page, Positive Outlooks. And I don't, I don't always share those things on my own social media, but maybe it is something like that. Like sharing a they, sh they have a lot of videos and stories of happy things that, that make you feel good. Make a card or decoration for somebody. Buy some extra own do items and donate them to a food bank. If you hear noises, it's Annabelle in the background. She just got a new fishy toy that she's all excited about. <laughs> Leave a happy note for someone else to find. I have totally done that before. Uh, and it's not uh, very different from if you paint rocks, and I don't remember if we talked about that, but if you paint rocks and you write positive things on them and then you intentionally take at least one or two with you when you go on a walk in the woods and you leave them around and then it's really cool to think that somebody else would find them. So yeah, I've left notes before on random windshields that are like, you know, you're beautiful or whatever. <laughs> Oh 
my goodness. Um, I don't know. You might think that that's weird. Or what if it's not a woman or I don't know. But you're not signing it, so they'll never know. But I think that's neat. Um, give clothes, blankets, or toys to others who may need them. Forgive someone and look for their good points. Turn off digital devices and really listen to people. Get outside in nature and feed the birds today. I like that one. Find ways to be kind to yourself today. So it, this is just a snapshot of a little month. This is actually from 2017. So I'm sure they have different ones for um, every month that are, you know, so the December 2020 is probably different than this one. But if you're interested, you could go on and maybe that might be something for 2021 to think about trying to follow along with the kindness calendar. I, actually, it's not always kindness, but this December was kindness. This one that I'm that I printed out. And the other the other thing I wanted to share was I went back to my old journal from 2018 when we had been talking about this topic with my Simple Abundance ladies and I wanted to come up with ways that I could potentially have uh, like a pay it forward or a random act of kindness gesture for somebody else. So some of them I found online and then others I just thought of and I figured I would read read them. So I mentioned I like the mail so I said send a friend a note through the mail. Pay for someone after you. Yeah, people do that sometimes. Leave a positive note for someone on a stranger's window. Yeah. Donate to the food pantry. So some of these are similar to what I already said. Leave a plant or something special on a neighbor's doorstep. Or it could be a friend too. Uh, volunteer somewhere. You know, a couple of years ago, I, I volunteered at a an old... I guess an old folks home. It was a assisted living. They were they were well. They weren't ill. And I went once a week and I played games with the ladies. And I ran out of time. I just ended up getting too busy, but that was really fun and it was fulfilling. They didn't remember me always from week to week cuz some of them had dementia, but I felt good doing something like that. So maybe you can think of maybe it's like um helping out with the pets that are getting ready to be adopted or something like that, that really, that you know you would enjoy. Adopt a child in another country. You know how there's a lot of churches that do that? Yeah, my, my sister's family has done that. Hide a surprise in a library book. I found that one in a list online somewhere. So, so isn't that fun? That's kind of like the rock idea or leaving a note for someone you could put like a little inspirational quote and just go to the library, maybe put it in your favorite book or something. And then the person that gets it will, will have that special note. Pick up garbage somewhere. Let someone cut in line at the store. That is always so nice when you always have, you only have a few little things and someone lets you go in. Fund or donate online to a GoFundMe effort. Just, you could just look and just randomly find something or if there was somebody that you know that was sharing something on social media, even if you don't know the person, you might feel inspired to do that. Congratulate, I'm sorry, that's Annabelle. She, she's got a little gemstone now, I think. Uh, congratulate someone, I lost my place, on their accomplishment. Yeah, I heard about, you know, if you're on LinkedIn, one thing that I heard was that you could pick a different person each day or each week and go on and write them a positive review, like somebody that you've worked with or that you, is a colleague. Volunteer at an animal shelter, I said that. Bring toys to a children's hospital. Adopt a family or child at Christmas. There's a lot of opportunities to do that. Post inspirational sticky notes around. So that's again just randomly leave a gas gift leave a gas gift card at a gas pump imagine if you found that you wonder though if somebody that found it might be just so overly conscious that they they might think someone left it and then go turn it in who knows but leave quarters at a laundromat so that's similar too 
Speak to a manager about a great worker you encountered. Yeah. Do you ever do that? Because most often the managers are probably just ready for somebody that's coming up to them to come and complain. But what if you you went up and said, I just want to let you know, you know, Jessica was so nice and just great attitude and I just wanted to pass that on. Like that would make that would be really good because that person's probably working so hard and they just don't feel appreciated. <laughs> Place positive body image notes in jeans at a store. I've heard that one online too. So like in the pockets. So if somebody's trying on something, maybe they put their hands in the pocket and they look and it's like, you look great or something like that. I wonder if you like that one. Send a gratitude email to support staff or someone you work with. Smile at five strangers. Write a positive message on a friend's social media page. Leave a big tip for a server, yeah. Bring dog or cat food to an animal shelter. So if you don't have the time to be the volunteer, maybe you just volunteer some goods. Focus on giving as many compliments as you can in one day. That would be like a challenge to see if you could do that. Put coins around at the playground. Kids would totally be excited to find those. Or somebody with a metal detector, maybe. <laughs> Write a former teacher, a mentor, a boss who made a difference. That's where I got the idea. I feel like some of these might have been from Cheryl Richardson. You guys know I like her. I feel like maybe she gave a, a seminar that I was listening to and I got some ideas for that. And I did a little journaling afterwards about it and I just, some of my thoughts were that some of these cost money but they don't have to be extravagant you know we're talking quarters we're talking coins maybe that gas gift card was the biggest thing but it is those little random unexpected things that really would would brighten somebody's day and think of the fun that you would have if you made this maybe it's just one thing a month and you contemplate it and you think uh, you know, like, oh, I can't wait for that person to find it. Even if you don't ever know who finds it. Maybe you might want to go and watch and see who got the gift card or something like that. But I think just the fun in knowing that you're doing it and spreading a little bit of joy around, I think that would be fulfilling. What do you guys think? Do you like these ideas? Maybe if you have an idea that I didn't say, let me know in the comments. And take a look at that actionforhappiness.org website and maybe consider printing out one of those calendars for future months. I hope you like this topic. I'll be back with you tomorrow for our December Joyful Simplicities talk. And I'm trying to remember, I did look ahead at the caution closet item but at this moment it's not coming to my mind so we'll discuss that as well too because that's always at the end of the month the end of November oh my goodness thanks for being here thanks for watching I appreciate all your comments likes and subscribes and I will see you on the next video